everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lacey and today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a couple of things that I have decided to start doing. Uh, if you don't know, I have some big, big, big news. Um, go and watch my last video before you watch this video because otherwise, huge spoiler alerts. But <laughs> we are going to talk about some things that are going to help me get prepared for this brand new season. videos we have talked about how I do not label myself as a prepper and I continue to not label myself as a prepper. Um, if you want to see you know all of my reasons why and definitely don't think that I'm against preparedness or prepping in general I just don't want to continue to label myself something and then become really ingrained in a culture of something that I don't feel like fully defines who I am. So <laughs> you can definitely watch those other videos, but in this one, we're not going to get too deep into that. But I do want to say that I do still believe in a lot of the tenets of prepping, um, especially some of those rules that are um, just really good for your life in general. So like two is one, one is none. So basically to keep things in threes, um, to have a rotating pantry, um, we do consider ourselves to be pretty self-sufficient here. We try to be at least. Um, we actually raise almost all of our meat, um, and we are continuing to try to work on our gardening skills so that way we can raise all of our produce as well. But we are not a fully functional homestead, so we're like a baby mini homestead here. <laughs> but, um, I love to get a good deal. So since we are coming up into this new season, um, I wanted to go ahead and start to begin to fill my pantry. So we are actually pregnant. So we were waiting for 13 years and we finally, finally got pregnant. So we're very excited. Um, we are also in the midst of buying a house. So this is the spoiler alerts, guys. I didn't want to <laughs> give this to you if you didn't know this, but there you go. Um, so life is about to change. Budget is about to change. The things we need are about to change. So I decided that I would begin to start prepping my pantry. I feel like that is a practical way that I can meet in the middle with this new, you know, life change, this big transition. How can I help myself? How can I get to a point of feeling a little more secure? Um, so I feel like having the pantry ready to go into the big house with the big pantry, um, that'll be great. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of the deals that I got. These are just ideas for you guys. Um, we are going into the holiday season, so a lot of this stuff is going to be for the holidays. Um, and there are also some things for everyday life, but I feel like if you guys want to take some like ideas, I'll tell you like some meals I'm planning to make and things like that too. So let's get started. Okay. So the first thing that I love to prep are spices. So when you're talking about preparedness, like if you ever got in a situation where you were eating from your pantry completely, you would definitely want spice because rice and beans are going to totally get boring <laughs> really quickly. So um, I found all of these different spice packs on sale. So I only grabbed the ones that were on sale. Um, so nothing was over a dollar either, so that was important to me. So I found this. It's a Kinders brand. Um, it's a Carnitas, carne asada, street corn. We love like roasted corn, so I thought that would be fun. This is a breakfast taco mix. I've never tried these, so we'll see. These are the ones that I do know what they taste like, but they were on sale for less than a dollar, so that's important to me. Aju, this makes a great Mississippi pot roast. You just take this, a ranch packet, and a stick of butter you have a whole, whole meal. Um, let's see here. Turkey gravy. Again, thinking towards the holidays. Fajita seasoning. That's just an everyday thing that we will use plenty of. And, and it's really inexpensive and they save really well. So that's why I like to get those. Okay, over here I have some dry goods as well. So this is the Nor pasta size. So it's like a pasta and a rice blend. But this is the Spanish rice. This is the one that I like. There are tons of flavors. And again, these are like $1.10, I think, $1.12. All of this stuff that I bought here, now we'll say with inflation, it's way more than it used to be. So this was $66 and some change. Um, but I tried to really, really watch my pennies and tried to get things that I felt like were a good deal and would store away easily and transition easily. I don't want giant bulk cans. 
that are gonna be hard to get from one house to the other later. <laughs> um, so I grabbed two of those. These are one of my favorite things to prep as like a dessert or a snack. It's super, super simple, but it's also like just add water. Just add water, that's all you need. Um, so it's blueberry cheesecake muffin mix. This is the Martha White brand and they have all the different flavors. Again, these are like just a little over a dollar. So you have a whole thing of muffins to feed your kiddos when they come home from school or whatever. Um, I feel like these make great, 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 great belly fillers, especially if you were, let's just say, in a, a little bit of more of an emergency situation um, and you needed to eat out of your pantry. You could at least have something sweet, right? Okay, this is another holiday option that I found, um, or that I, we love these. This is something we use all the time. This is going to be perfect for making those casseroles on Thanksgiving. We do like green bean casseroles. So this is what I top it with. I also grabbed some of these. These are more for like every day in my, rota my rotating pantry. Um, they are microwavable and they are one cup and they take one minute in the microwave. So, so simple, pretty inexpensive. But for me and my husband, since we have both had um, bypass surgeries, uh, one of these cups makes a whole meal for us with the protein. Um, so this is really, really simple and you can get this in t several different varieties. We got the brown rice today. I usually try to get the one with the quinoa mixed in because quinoa is really healthy for you. Um, here is a kind of off the wall purchase and I tried it today just to see. So I am on decaf right now through pregnancy and then also I have um, a little bit of a health thing where I shouldn't have very much caffeine. Um, so I found these decaf instant coffees to put away. I Like I said, I tried one and it was decent, not too bad. Um, it does have a better flavor than some of the other brands. So if you're looking for instant, try the Folgers brand. It's not too bad. Um, okay, Jiffy Mix. Jiffy Mix is perfect. It is basically like cake, okay? Um, so it's corn muffin mix. I use this in replacement of cornbread. It again is super, super easy, just egg and milk. Um, pretty much a staple in our house. We keep this for all kinds of things, but I'm specifically thinking about a corn casserole. It's the Paula Deen version, um, and it is absolutely delicious. I bring it every year to Thanksgiving, and everyone loves it. It's a huge hit. Um, so I grabbed three of those. These are 62 cents. They used to be 50 cents, but that wasn't too bad, so I grabbed three just to put away. I also... Okay. So I prefer box stuffing. I know that can be a hot topic for people, but um, I like the cornbread and I like the turkey. So I grabbed two turkeys this time. Next time I go, I will grab two of the cornbread. And what I do is I mix them and then I kind of zhuzh them up with my own like celery and turkey broth and things like that. So we kind of make it fun. All right, the next item that I got is again, another pantry staple, just a couple of things of spaghetti. So these were the cheapest that I found. I think they were 68 cents. Um, and this is a full pound. So this was a good price. Um, we want to consider price every time, <laughs> especially for pasta. Because to me, pasta is, unless you're getting a fresh pasta, this is, you know, this will definitely do. Okay, so I grabbed two of those. Now I'm getting into more of the canned goods. I did actually purchase um, some doubles of these. So I bought, or I bought um, four of these cans of cut green beans. Again, um, we're talking green bean casserole, and then these are like an everyday, you open a can, open a thing of rice, put your meat, your, your meal is completely done. And I love a good canned green bean. I, I like fresh green beans too, but canned are, <laughs> canned are good. Um, I grabbed a couple of cans of these mixed chili beans. I like the mixed chili beans because they already come um, seasoned, so you don't have to worry too much about it. You just throw it in your pot with your meat and you're good to go. And we do, I know we're from Texas, but we definitely do the beans in our, <laughs> beans in our chili. It stretches and it's really good. Um, I grabbed some cream style corn. I don't actually eat very much cream corn, so I'll only grab two, but this will actually do me through the holidays because this is what I use to make the cornbread casserole. So we got a couple of those. I grabbed a couple of things of Rotel, again, for chili. And mind you, I probably already have a lot of this in my pantry, but what I need to do is I need to pull those ones that are older up front and put these behind them, and that's how you do your rotating pantry. So you're always keeping fresh uh, or you know fresher cans in the front. So I'll be making sure that those are switched out. Okay, and I found these. I'm gonna try them. Uh, I only got one to try. 
So this is chili ready tomatoes. So they are ready to go for your chili. I'm not sure what makes them chili ready. Oh, it looks like it has uh, onion, garlic powder, chili powder, dehydrated celery, green bell pepper, ground paprika. Okay, so they're like pre-seasoned. So it's kind of like the chili beans. So we're gonna try these in some chili and see if we like that. I also grabbed a thing of cream of mushroom soup and a thing of cream of chicken soup. They make great casseroles and usually finish out some of our holiday meals. Okay, over here, I grabbed um, some apple jelly and I actually meant to grab apricot jelly. So I'm gonna be trying to see if I can take this back and switch it for an apricot jelly. Um, I also got Russian dressing, but I've never had Russian dressing, but I saw a crock pot recipe where they used Russian dressing and apricot jelly. So we're gonna try it out and we're gonna, you know, I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted. If it's really good, I can always post a recipe. Minced garlic is a pantry staple for me. I like that it is shelf stable until you pop it open. So this can stay on my shelf um, for quite a while. So this says by next year, 2026, or whoa, two years from now, August 29th, two years from now. So I love that. That's a great way to keep fresh garlic on your shelf and ready to go. Bouillon. So this is the Noor. It's like um, a powdered chicken bouillon. And it is so, so simple to use. And I actually sometimes will kind of prefer it. It kind of tastes like a, like a ramen packet. If you've never tried that, it's pretty common. So I bet most of you guys know, you know, what that tastes like, but it's, it's really easy and it goes a long way. So I also grabbed a small thing of extra virgin olive oil. Olive oil can be a little more expensive. So I just buy a small jar every once in a while and I stock my pantry. And so I keep several at a time. And then this is the last thing that I bought. I wanted to put you guys on. It's not really a um, prep item, so to speak, although it could be. Um, this is best by, it's about a year, so a year and a month or so, so November 2025. So this is my favorite creamer. <laughs> it is a powdered creamer, and it is cinnamon French toast. The reason I like this is because you don't have to put any sugar in it. It is like ready to go, kind of like a latte. You just stick your coffee in there. And then let's just say you were in a situation where you didn't have any electricity. If you can get some hot water, you got coffee, you got creamer, and you can start your day. <laughs> okay, but this is really good. It's the cinnamon French toast, don't forget. Hey guys, so this is just the way that I am starting to begin to build my prep up, um, build my stockpile a little bit. I don't really do a lot of stocking. I don't have a lot of number 10 cans or anything like that. Um, but I do like to have a nice rotating pantry that I use every day that is always stocked and I don't have to worry about going to the store like, oh, do I have that ingredient? Odds are I got it. Um, it also helps because we live really, really far away from town. Um, at best we can get there in about 35 minutes to the grocery store. So that just makes if you're missing an ingredient while you're making dinner really difficult. <laughs> so I love to have my pantry fully stocked. Um, especially when we get into the colder parts of the year, I feel like it's important to just kind of hunker down. Isn't it nice? Um, and as my pregnancy progresses, I will definitely be getting out probably less, especially in the flu -y season. Um, I don't really want to be getting myself sick and, um, this is just the best way to do it for me. So if you guys are in any of these boats, if you're transitioning, if you're getting ready for the holidays, if you are pregnant, I hope you can take a few little tips or get excited about, you know, get some motivation and excitement to go back out and stock your pantries. Okay, guys, I will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye, don't forget to subscribe.